Welcome back traders. All right, so you have just registered a copy of MetaTrader and downloaded it. One of the things you may need to do is to create a demo account and this is how you do it. Before we can start editing everything, we do need this demo account. So follow along with this. You click on file, open an account, and you should have these different servers available. If you don't, then I suggest you go to jpmarkets.co.za and download a copy of MetaTrader from them, just so we can have the same MetaTrader in front of us. Once you've selected the server that you want, and our first account while we're playing around will be a practice, we click on Next, New Demo Account, and then fill in your details. I suggest you use an email address that you do actually use because the emails that you get through help you with a lot of trading opportunities as well as a lot of free learning and it really can help you in the long run. So you fill out your details, click on I agree to subscribe to your newsletters and click on next. Now you've just created a new demo account. Demo accounts are typically active for 30 days. Uh, if your trial period does expire, you can just open up a new demo account. Once you click finish, it will automatically put in those login details and reconnect. Incoming mail. And there we go. We are connected. So now we have a new account. We can look at the bottom right and we can see that we have some data coming in. That means that the connection is great and everything is fantastic and it's busy downloading. And the charts that you see in front of you now, these are real prices that are live. MetaTrader is broken into several different areas on your desktop. We have the main window, which is where the charts are loading up here. This is obviously one that you'll be looking at quite a lot. On the top bar, we have all of our tools and different options that we can use. We will be going through some of the more used ones. On the left, we have the market watch and the navigator. Now I'm going to start editing the chart as we go along. So it's very much the same sort of thing as what I see. Right, the first thing is the market watch. While this does look very interesting and very nice having all these numbers changing and we see the red and the blue for if it's going up or down, it's kind of useless to us because we're looking for either patterns or we're looking for specific prices that we can see on the chart itself. All of our trading decisions will be made from the actual chart and not just from the market watch. So I like to get rid of that. Now the navigator will expand up here you'll see that it has a list of some accounts listed. Um, we also have expert advisors if you have any extra ones built in. Uh, you can see that I've added quite a few. Yours will probably be empty except for the MACD sample and moving average one. But again, we don't really use this that often. So I like to go ahead and close the navigator as well. So now you can see we have much more real estate running across this window here. With the four charts that you have open by default, Let's go ahead and only keep one of them open for now. I'm going to focus on the euro dollar. So I'm going to close the others. Now you'll see each currency pair that's loaded. We have three options here. The one is to minimize and it basically just hides it. The other is we can maximize and then it fills the whole screen. If it is maximized, you want to remove it. So you can click on this button here to restore it down and it puts it back in place. And the third one is to close. So it's very much like any other program that you use in Windows. So there, now I've gotten rid of those and I'm going to maximize the euro dollar. And you can see we have much more information here now. And it's a lot easier to see. Let's have a look at the terminal. At the bottom section of your screen, you'll see this area is called the terminal. And underneath we have several different tabs that we can look at. If we look at trade, this will show us what trades are currently open or closed. It'll also show us our profits and, and current um, equity. If you click on exposure, yours will also be blank, but this is telling us how much are we exposing of our total trading capital to the market. Account history will show, well, a history of your account. The news tab gives us news information that's fed directly into our platform. You can go ahead and double click on any news event and it'll load up some information on it. We do have some better third party resources that we can use for this, however. Alerts is something that is not covered in the scope of this course, but just so you know what it is, you can go ahead and create alerts. So you can set it up so if the euro dollar crosses a certain level, you can get a pop up sound or some kind of warning or alert. 
Mailbox is exactly what you think it is. It's a mailbox. JP Markets might send you some information through here, but honestly, very few traders ever check this mailbox. So it's best to keep an eye on your actual email. Things like market signals, code base and whatnot is far more advanced and this is best done in a one-on-one -on -one environment so it won't be covered in the scope of this course. But one thing that is kind of interesting is the signals tab here. We could look at other traders and how they're doing and find a way to get your meta trader to actually copy them. However, JP Markets have a much better and much more in-depth way of tracking other traders and linking your account to copy their trades. So we won't be spending time on that, but have a look out for the upcoming video series on copy trading. And just to mention again, we have all of the toolbars up top. We will be covering that in the videos coming up.